Hi, and welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. Today we got one beauty, guys. 1967 Chevelle True 138 SS. That's what the 138 means. Um, if you're not a, a Chevelle fan, it signifies that it's a true factory SS. Black beauty here, guys. Remember, at Vanguard Motor Sales, we are not consignment. We own all our vehicles. That's why our inventory looks the way it does. We get to pick what we have here, not like consignment dealers. Come on up, we're gonna take a walk around and show you this gorgeous 67. Come on up guys, let's take a look at the beautiful paint, the bright work, the chrome, the margins. Unbelievable. This black finish on here, I can't tell you how many coats of clear must be on it. The chrome, the bumpers are absolutely phenomenal. All the bright work are, is beautiful. Um, you can see the margins on the hood are absolutely even on both sides. Um, sitting on a nice set of Kregers. That is absolutely perfect all the way down. All the trim around the, the windows is in awesome shape, which usually isn't the case. Uh, even the door whiskers look brand new. Doors open. Look how clean this is. You, you could tell they took their time and they did a nice job painting the car and took it apart because they didn't paint over the latches. Got the door bumper. Um, nice clean lips. Door shut perfect. Rear quarter matches up perfect with the door. Just a dynamite car, guys. I love this one. Check out the rear, the bumpers. Trim around the trunk as well. Let's open up the trunk here. Check out inside the trunk. They even put all the um, jack instructions in here. Um, beautiful, clean. It looks like they uh, put brand new latches here too. It's just awesome. Nice red line tire in the trunk for a spare. Once again, the margins are absolutely even all the way around. Looking down the passenger side, absolutely solid, clean, straight, no rust, no bubbles, no bondo. If you're looking for a quality car, guys, turnkey, black 67 Chevelle, this is it. Call me seven days a week at 248. 974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park your dream in your driveway. Check out the beautiful door panels. No imperfections. Uh, you got beautiful seats in there. The interior is absolutely gorgeous. And there's my favorite part in the middle there between the two seats and that's a four speed. Nothing better than a big block and a four speed guys. All right, now that you've had a quick look at the car, if you want to go straight to our website and check out about 180 other cars, hit the top button. If you'd like to watch an About Us video, hit the middle button. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bottom button. Now let's get back out there and check out that car. All right, guys, now we're inside this be beautiful 67 Chevelle SS. Check out the beautiful dash. Everything looks absolutely awesome. Oh, I forgot to mention, guys, we're doing this indoors, you know, half indoor, outdoor. We're not going on a test drive today. We have inclement weather, bad snow, salt. You know, we don't take our cars out in that. But at any rate, this 67 Chevelle was meticulously restored. Absolutely gorgeous. All the gauges and everything in here, are, you know, we got the factory ones and then we got the aftermarket, which are more accurate. Got a nice tack up here. Remember, at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're dedicated to parking your dream in your driveway. So give me a call today at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this beast in your driveway. All right, guys, we're underneath our 1967 SS Chevelle now. This thing's pretty sweet underneath. 
Um, it's all original. There's really not much been changed here, but we're going we're gonna to still go through it and show everything to you. You can see we've got a relatively new gas tank in it, and they have this mat underneath it to insulate it from the bottom of the car. That's always good against like abrasiveness and things of that nature, but they do have the straps pretty tight. So shouldn't have to worry about it, but it's nice added insurance. Moving forward from that, you can see we do got air shocks on this thing. Brake lines look like they're in pretty good shape. We got our uh, stock sway bar on this thing. It's the typical four link rear end on the thing. You can see that we've got uh, bushings are all in good shape on it. Or, you know, every, there's life in everything is what I'm trying to say. We got the coil springs here, they look all right. Drum brakes in the back, we've taken them apart. We know everything's uh, nice and solid. And as far as like uh, misassembly goes, wheel cylinders, just the typical stuff when people don't know what they're doing when they do drum brakes. We take that out of the equation for you. Uh, like I said, original rear end in this thing, it's a GM12 bolt as you saw. Uh, more specifically, this thing has got a 355 gear in it, it's date code correct for the car, and the suffix code actually matches up for a 66 Chevelle, so I would have to call this a numbers matching rear end for this thing. This is probably the rear end that it was born with, everything lines up to uh, not really disprove that, so that's what we're going to call it. Uh, moving forward to that, drive shaft's in good shape, U-joint feels nice and tight. Frame uh, all up in here looks every everything looks fantastic on the thing. There's no rust. You know, you do the the pit test. You know, look for pitting or any uh, debris or what have you up in there. Feels nice and clean. Fuel line looks like it's in good shape. Brake line over here, respectively, in great shape. Floorboards look like they're beautiful. I don't see any evidence of any patchwork on this thing, which means these are probably original. And seeing what I'm seeing in here, it's not really surprising. I mean, the car looks like it was very very well kept. So this thing is uh, almost of survivor status. Um, however, it looks like it has been restored, but I mean, as far as sheet metal wise, survivor, uh, survivor status. Uh, we got the big old cross member here, everything looks to be nice with that, bolted in nice and solid. Transmission here, transmission mount is good as well. Transmission is a Muncie 4 speed. Um, I ran the number on it, it's a 1968 Muncie 4 speed, so it's close but not quite right for the car. Um, however, uh, nothing wrong with it. it uh, I guess that's about it, 1968 Muncie four-speed. Uh, bell housing is stock on the thing. Everything looks uh, tight right there. They actually have the inspection cover on it. That's nice. Big block Chevy here, we're gonna get to that in a second. Uh, that one's a, a pretty nice one and I'll, I'll get to why in just a second. You've got uh, front suspension on the thing and all your steering components. Everything looks brand new. I mean, you can get a close up of that. That looks awesome. I'm gonna get all the cotter pins in nice. Everything's painted up properly. Nice and tight, doesn't surprise me. It's, it looks new. Um, New links for your, uh, what do you call this, sway bar. All that looks like it's in good shape. We got uh, front disc brakes on this car, and in 67, if I'm not mistaken, that was optioned, so it was optioned with that. You can see that we have uh, new upper and lower ball joints, and the boots are in excellent shape. Looks like relatively new shocks on the thing. All that looks like it's in good shape. I can see we've got manifolds on this car, not headers. Nothing wrong with that. The exhaust, stock mufflers, you can see the exhaust looks beautiful all the way down through there. All of our rubber components look like they're in good shape. Uh, aftermarket fuel pump on the thing, nothing wrong with that. It's a, more is always better when it comes to fuel with the uh, hot rods. You can see your frame uh, right, right, right in here is really typical for the Chevelles to rot out. And this all looks nice and solid. You can look up at the drain hole there and I don't see any debris or anything of that nature. So, I mean, that's a big positive there. You can see all of our drain holes here. I mean, it's, everything is nice and clean on this thing. Absolutely awesome. It's exactly what I want to see. Let's check out wheels and tires. All right, guys, we got Cooper Cobras on the thing. It's 225, 70 R15s, and of course we got Craigers. It's a hot rod. You got to have Craigers with your old school hot rod. Uh, but 15 inch rim, Cooper Cobra radial tires, a lot better than the bias flies this thing would have came with back in the day. And you can see, look how nice that uh, brake rotor looks in there. It looks like it's brand new. It looks like a brand new caliper on the thing. And looking at it, we got a lot of pad life in the front. Let's go check out the rear. All right, guys, in the back, we got Cooper Cobra radial TAs. Uh, the size on this, they're bigger than the fronts, obviously. We got 275, 60 R15s, a little bit taller, a little bit fatter. Uh, right there is our drum brake, already went through. We always take those apart, and we got a Craiger SS on the, on the rear, same as the front, nothing wrong with that. Let's go check out underneath the hood. All right, guys, big block Chevy under the hood. This is a 396, that sticker's not a lie. Um, this thing is the 325 horse motor. We tell that, or we could tell that by the suffix code and the, and the um, casting number. Everything lines up, but this is a 625 horse, uh, four barrel engine. Um, 1966 year on the engine, so it's a little bit before the car, but it is a 396, and these are getting fairly desirable. Um, we got a stock intake manifold on the thing, as you can see. Uh, behind the intake manifold, I believe that to be an all star performance distributor. 
that's a billet distributor, aftermarket distributor. Those perform pretty nice. Um, and that, if I'm not mistaken, is a solid state ignition in this thing, so you don't have to deal with points or anything of that nature. Big upgrade there. Vacuum advance going to the uh, Holly carburetor underneath the top hat here, and it is a 670 CFM carburetor, and that's about what you're going to want on this thing. Um, it's been souped up a little bit, um, <clears throat> but back to the carburetor before I get to that. 600 670 CFM. Um, it's got vacuum secondaries on it, electric choke, and I believe it to be a 4150 model carburetor. Um, Outside of that, we're dual feed, and uh, they've got the nice little fuel pressure uh, gauge on it as well. All the rubber lines look like they're in good shape. Uh, radiator hose in good shape. All this is in good shape. Nice chrome alternator on the thing. Nice set of chrome valve covers. Um, underneath the chrome valve covers, you'll notice uh, when we did the running video of the car, you heard like a little bit of a valve frame noise. And this is not a solid uh, lifter engine. It actually has the aftermarket, I believe them to either be Scorpion or Harlan Sharp roller rockers on this thing. It's got a fresh valve adjustment in it. And once we saw that, we knew that that's very normal. That's very typical for the, uh, the type of valve performance valve frame setup that this thing has. So um, all performance upgrades there. Like I mentioned underneath, we got stock manifolds on the thing. However, uh, going threaded in between those, we do have some performance wires on this. I believe they're Excel high temp um, stock core wires. Nice stuff. We got a fuel filter here. You can see our uh, aftermarket fuel pump down there. Uh, good looking battery in the thing. Battery hold down doing its job. Um, outside of the motor, you can see we do have power brakes with a nice deep well master cylinder. I like those a lot. Um, firewall looks like it's in great shape. Wiring doesn't look to be all too taped up or haggled or anything like that that we see in a lot of these. Um, Horns over here, they look like they're hooked up. We got our windshield washer bottle here. Uh, looks like we got manual steering on this car and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a hot rod and it's, should, that should be what you need. Um, inner fenders, look like they got a nice paint job on them, nice chrome dipstick in the thing. Overall, just a pretty nice job uh, doing the restoration on this car. They even uh, got the uh, insulation in between the hood here. I gotta give them credit for that. Not very many people do it. Well, I guess that's about it, guys. If you want to have this thing parked in your driveway, make sure to call down with the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park your dreams in your driveway. All right, we've made it really easy for you. Click on any one of these five pictures here and it'll take you right to whatever you're interested in. We're gonna give you about 30 seconds here to click these pictures. If you need more time, just go back in the video and click that picture.